The world of gaming suffered a huge loss today, a very saddening loss, with Satoru Iwata's passing. Now, regardless of whether you're a Nintendo guy or not, you have to realize that Iwata had such a huge hand in the influence of what gaming really is today. Iwata just inspired so many people, game developers, programmers, producers, gaming companies, just everything that he worked with as a whole influenced a lot in the world of gaming and today to celebrate his life I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the history of Satoru Iwata. Let's celebrate what positive influences he brought. Satoru Iwata was born in 1959. He demonstrated an early interest in the creation of video games and computer programming. In fact during his high school years, he produced electronic games at home as a hobby using his pocket calculator. And just as an extra side hobby, he'd often disassemble Commodore computer games by hand and just work through the code. So he had a passion for gaming that started from the bottom, a fan of gaming that rose to the top. After leaving high school, he enrolled at the Tokyo Institute of Technology where he majored in computer science. Well, shortly afterwards, he began to work as a part-time programmer for HAL Laboratory. It was in 1982 that he joined them on a full-time basis, where he was most notable for creating two NES games, Balloon Fight and NES Open Golf. It was during this time that his role became even more important. In fact, it helped establish one of Nintendo's most popular and well-known franchises. While Masahiro Sakurai developed the Kirby character and the concept for the game, it was Iwata's heavy involvement that brought the game its very first title in Kirby's Dream Land. A big accomplishment that he made actually involves a game that has established such a cult following on the Super Nintendo. That is Mother 2, also known as Earthbound. The development time for Mother 2 was actually pretty chaotic. The game was taking a little bit longer to make than expected. In fact, it was almost borderline cancelled. But Iwata was determined to step in, telling Sigisato Itoi, the creator of Mother, I don't think you're going to be able to finish it if you go on like this. I can help you if you would like, but there are two ways to proceed. If we use what you have now and fix it, it will take two years. If we start fresh, it will take a half year. So Iwata was pretty much single-handedly responsible for making sure that Mother 2 came to the United States as Earthbound and the rest is history. Another impressive achievement by Iwata was he actually was able to program the battle code from the Game Boy Pokemon games for Pokemon Stadium in about one week. A very impressive feat by Iwata was also the fact that he was able to compress Pokemon Gold and Silver to include the Kanto regions because the game was just too huge. He was able to physically go in there and just basically compress it so that it could fit on a Game Boy cartridge. I mean, this guy was a technical wizard. Over the next decade, Iwata played key roles in development of some of Nintendo's most important games, especially during the GameCube era. After obtaining a high ranking position at Nintendo, he became global president after Hiroshi Yamauchi went into retirement. And it was under his leadership that Nintendo reached its high success with the Nintendo Wii. And in the world of handhelds, the Nintendo DS was also introduced. Now, I don't know Iwata personally, never met him, but I can honestly say that being a big Nintendo fan, growing up with Nintendo products, and playing many of the games that he's helped personally develop and even produce that he played a big part in my childhood and my just life as a gamer and I'd like to thank you Iwata. So Iwata today we salute you for all of your accomplishments. Today was a tribute for your life. It is sad to see you go but your influence on the gaming industry as a whole will always be here and you will always be remembered. Thank you for everything.